Hello everyone. Uh, in the previous lecture, I shared with you the formation of partial differential equation by elimination of arbitrary constant. And uh, in current lecture, I'll share with you the elimination, uh, formation of partial differential equation by elimination of arbitrary function. So how will you identify that whenever relation of this x, y, z or independent and dependent variable are given in terms of some unknown function. So that is called arbitrary function. So we have to eliminate it. So here this a is just a constant. It's not an arbitrary. So a is a constant. So it is a constant. It is not arbitrary. Arbitrary means which can change. So here we don't know what is a function. It can be anything. It is f of ax plus y. So the first step is differentiate with respect to x because independent variable are x and y so I differentiate with respect to x. So the first step is on the right hand side do the ordinary differentiation of the function and then differentiation of ax plus y is a or more briefly I can replace this zx by b and here I can write down like that it doesn't matter because it is understood that what function it is of. So it is p is equals to f dash a. So I'll call it equation number one. Similarly, differentiate the same function with respect to this z with respect to y. And you right hand side, the first step is differentiation of the function, which is ordinary. And then for the derivative of ax plus y. So here with respect to y is one. So we got q is equals to f dash into one. So here, what I can do, put f dash from 2 in 1 so we get an expression so we get p equals to a cube so i got this partial differential equation of order 1 so this is a process of finding partial differential equation let's see another example here the same now what you will observe that when there is a one arbitrary function of one expression then the first order differential equation can be derived. So here also this is one function. So first order is enough. We cannot keep on differentiating. So the first differentiation is I'll write down zx equals to. So this side first ordinary differentiation of the function into. Then further you have to differentiate x by y. So here differentiation of x is 1. So 1 into 1 by y is a constant. So I get here. This is p equals to f dash into 1 by y. f dash into 1 by y. So I'll call it a equation number 1. I, I'll differentiate it again with respect to y. And here you have a f dash of x by y. And then derivative of y. So with respect to y. So y is 1 by y. So and derivative of 1 by y is minus 1 by y square because derivative of y to the power minus 1 is minus 1 y to the power minus 2 so it can be written as minus 1 by y square so here i got q is equals to minus x by y square into f dash so that is the equation number two so what i can do i can put the value of from from 1 i can derive the f dash value which is equals to p into q and put in second so when i will put in second the second equation will be q is equals to minus x by y square and when you put it equals to um, let's let me see here it is p into y let me let me make it clear this is p into y it is p into y so when you substitute here so it will be p into y so here one y will get cancelled and uh, after simplification i can transfer this another y on the other side so it is y q is equals to minus x p so my equation will be x p plus y q equals to zero that is my differential equation the first order partial differential equation this is the first order partial differential equation in this manner we can see one more equation you can, uh, here z is equals to x plus y plus f of x square minus y square. Here again it is of one arbitrary function and uh, 
we got a first order differential equation enough for it so when you differentiate with respect to x here x into y so differentiation of x is 1 and here y is constant again when you handle this part so first is the order f dash value into 2x and you can write down it equals to like this and from here even if you can find out f dash value it will be p minus y transfer it to x because we will substitute into the next equation so in the next expression when you differentiate with respect to y it will be you can see from here it will be y derivative is 1 so x plus f dash into minus 2y and from here you can get q is equals to x minus 2y f dash so from here f dash you can substitute in this equation and what will be the next part next is just a simplification when you substitute and cross multiply after simplification you will get a qx plus py is equals to x square plus y square is the partial differential equation and it is of first order because p and q stands for the first order partial derivative and uh, let's see the last equation here i have taken z is equals to f of x plus ct plus g is equals to x minus ct so here i have a two arbitrary function and you will observe that we need a two second order differential equation let's see one by one when i differentiate with respect to x so when I differentiate this with respect to x, what we will get? The first is ordinary differentiation f dash x plus ct into 1 plus g dash x minus ct into 1 because differentiation of x plus ct is 1, differentiation of x minus ct is 1. So then we will differentiate with respect to y. I get f dash x plus ct into c and here I get g dash x minus ct into minus c. So here uh, what I am observing that elimination is not possible because if you you cannot substitute it directly at least this uh, if you are adding by multiplying the first equation with c either f dash will be eliminated d, d, g dash will not be eliminated. So we can go further let us differentiate uh, it is with respect to t. Uh, we have seen so many questions with x and y but it is 40 and then we are differentiating again with respect to x so again we will differentiate second time one time derivative will be differentiated again into 1 plus this will be g double dash x minus ct because it is with respect to x so x is 1 degree so it is 1 so I will call it equation number 1 and then we will differentiate this equation with respect to t again so what we will get f dash x plus ct and here's one more c will multiply it becomes c square here g dash one double dash x minus ct and minus c will be multiplied that becomes c square and from here i get c square into this f double dash x plus ct plus g double dash x minus ct and uh, from equation number two from equation number one so i can substitute that z t t is equals to c square now these two are matching this expression and this expression is same so i can write down z x x from one so here elimination is done because now there is no arbitrary function and i have explained you that during this arbitrary function if you see these uh, some constant here they are the fixed constant they are not arbitrary constant so in this way we can find out the partial differential equations